Welcome back to Kicking It With The Cool. We have officially arrived to another sneaker buyout video. So we're headed to a store called Sneakerhead. It says a buy, sell, and trade business. Ironically, this happens to be the old round two. Actually, it says vintage by round two actually next to it. So the actual, the old round two, the original uh, round two Hollywood, I guess uh, a new company took over. It's called Sneakerhead Melrose. So we're headed there. We're about to go see what they have in stock. I know you guys love these buyout videos where we go to other sneaker stores and just cash out. Um, inventory. So we're headed here. We're buying more stuff. The new store at the farmers market has been crushing it. Las Vegas has been crushing it. And so we're just overstacking on inventory. Obviously, this summer is going to be insane. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash the like button. We're on the road to 2 million subscribers. Enjoy. All right. So we're officially here at Sneakerhead Melrose. So, guys, how are you guys? Oh, hey, this is some memories. But I, haven't, right. I haven't been here since uh, round two. Round two days. Ethan. Ethan, nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, man. How are you? Nice to meet you. Cool. When did you guys open this up? When we first started, about six years ago, in Lancaster. Oh, yeah. Lancaster, I've heard of Lancaster. Yeah, it's about an hour north. Have you been to Lancaster before? It's like, is it around the Palm Day area? Yeah. It's yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yo, another location. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. We have three. Yeah. Oh wow. So one's in Lancaster. Where's the other ones? Palmdale and here. Oh yeah, one in Palmdale too. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's dope. Congrats. How's it been doing here? We've been good. Yeah. Right. How have you guys been? Busy. Hell yeah. Busy, busy, That's busy. Good. Trying to buy more inventory because our new store, we just opened one at the farmer's market right yeah, here at the Burles. Yeah, seen that. Um, so appreciate it. So just trying to stack up with more product. Hell yeah. So how do you guys have it organized? Is everything new, used? Uh, like, everything wrapped is brand new. That's okay. our youth section. And it just gets bigger going around the store. And we have it all labeled. So eight through nine, nine and a half, 10, 10 half, 11 so, half. so grade school right there. Yes, sir. And then, um, eight to nines and then just get wraps around bigger yep and then we got a case with all of our like Heaters. crazy stuff and then a couple of bangers up top perfect perfect so let me just dig through it and then regarding pricing like how negotiable are we i was telling him like we try to like pay around like that yeah pay out type of uh ask a little under so like uh what's an example let's see there's 350 so like what, what do you guys uh, like i mean it depends on the shoe some yeah. shoes i could do a lot off some shoes are just are really good sellers i'm yeah. sure you know no, for what sure. are great sellers for you too but yeah some like some breads i could do like 320 if you want a pair so just let me know what you want and perfect offers, i got you man perfect let's do it so like these easy slides for like how much could you do on like the pure slides and stuff like on a pair of peers they sell pretty well for us i could knock like 20 off cool is like 120 yeah all right i'll take uh, are you guys a consignment or are you guys a uh, uh, you own everything here? No consignment. Good job because yeah. I, I hate consignment <laughs> shops. That's, uh, I, don't, I can't I don't trust consignment shops. It's a tough business model especially with what's going on in the shoe industry right now. It's, it's, it's a weird market right now. It's the worst I've ever seen it. Yeah. A lot of a lot of stores are shutting down. It's crazy right now. Turtle doves. That's four. How much could you do on the turtle doves? What do I have in that? 225. I don't know. This back in the day when we first moved to LA, this was like a $2,000 shoe. I could do two. It's fine. 180? Mm, sure, why not? So 180 on that. Let's see what else they got. Jordan 4. They got some good varieties. So this is like the grade school section right here. Some Yeezys, some Dunks, certain stuff like that. Then you see, what side is this area? This is the five to seven and a half area. So then this is like more grade school selection they got. So if you're ever in the Melrose area, make sure to pull up. There's a couple uh, blocks away from us. Ooh, Travis. Pre-owned, yeah. Ugh, how much? I have it at 550. Let me double check my computer real quick. Perfect. Not bad. Travis shoe. It's a used pair for 550. I'd probably pay like four, 450 on those. Sell it down like one five. And the Gucci's? Sick. I could do like five on the panels. How much is that? 525? Yeah, it's gonna be tough. 630 is new. I get yeah, it. Yeah, be too low. Yeah, make your money on that. My max would probably be like 450. Oh, I get it. No yeah. worries though. No worries. So Yeezy slides like like these three. I'll run 100 across the board. 90. That's probably what I paid on them. I probably yeah. want to run 100. Okay, let me just confirm. Let me just make sure that that's what we try to get them at. What are you? What are your guys' best sellers here? Uh, I would definitely say Trabs for sure. They fly. Anytime we've gotten. Uh, like the older SB Dunks, like Supreme Lows, MF Dooms, those fly. We can't keep them on our shelves at all. Makes sense. I'll definitely do the 100 on this one. I'll do the 100 on this one. Okay, so 100 is on those. That's a good one. The bread's used. Mm. Ooh, that's a steal, actually, 125. <laughs> they got some good prices, actually. 
What's we try. <laughs> How many shoes do you guys buy like a day average? I would say it's different at each location. Oh, really? For sure. Yeah. It's always different. Here, I'd say give or take 20 pairs that just get sent to our other store and then like another 15 just oh, that's here. That's good. That's really good. Markets are different in each city, you know. Do other people at your other locations, do people bring uh, shoes in a lot often? Like a Palmdale? Oh, yeah. Are there competitors? Are there other stores in Palmdale? There's, uh, yeah, we got like a couple, yeah. uh, two, two other stores, ones of I feel, like, I feel like every city now has like a, like a sneaker store. Literally yes. every city. You can be in the middle of nowhere, there's gonna be a shoe store there. For real. And it's every, weird now. I've noticed even every mall, you go to any mall now in America, there's a resale store there. We got a store in our mall too. Oh, you're in a mall there? No, in, in the Antelope Valley. There's a store now. Oh, nice, open. nice, nice. There's a bunch now. The resale industry is sick. It's <laughs> a good price. Let me come back to this one. The OG Sean's. This was the yeah, store man. before. Stay tuned, we're actually working on a, a sneaker shopping video with Sean, actually, that'll be a good one. When did you guys open your first store? It's Lancaster. Yeah, on Lancaster. no, what year? Uh, what year was that? 17? Oh yeah, so you guys have been in the game. Yeah. That's good, because everyone I've been targeting recently, that everyone's after 2020s, after like yeah. COVID, basically. Yeah. <laughs> not that many OGs. How much on the Dornbeckers? I got them at... 260? 260. Uh, I'll do two if you want them. All right, I'll do two. Okay, let's see. So I'm just going through some of the inventory they got just to make sure I'm not missing on nothing. A lot of good variety. Hey. Did you do the same? The, the 100 on this? Yeah, I got you. No problem. Travis's. The bangers. Yes. <laughs> if I take both of um, these, what's the lowest you can do? The frags? Yeah. Travis frags are. Flyers, they, they sell like crazy. 18 each, I'll buy both of them. Yeah, let's see it. Appreciate that. So we just got both of these for 18ers. Um, what little cost for us? Um, yeah. And then we picked out a couple other stuff that we've been doing. Uh, what are these Phantoms? I have the crazy story with them. I, I bought a thousand pairs of these and I overpaid. And I think I paid 900 in the market at the time. It was a 900 or a thousand, and it came to like 650 or 600. Yeah. So it was probably, at the time, it was my worst buy ever. Now it's, now like, it's not that bad. That's not as bad. <laughs> you wanted the 11, right? Uh, I could take both of the prices there. I could do like 830 on the 11 and the six. The six, I'd probably be at seven. One to eight. Mm. The bids at eight, the market's at nine. That one might have to be tough. I'd probably want to stay at that 830. It's one of our best sellers. No, I already too. know. Yeah. 100%. I already know. The market's so weird. It's like a 13 goes for 600 and then a 12 and a half is 900. Exactly. It's like, what sense is this, man? Who controls this shit? Very fair prices. We it's do our best. <laughs> it's very good. It's very, very good. It's like, you've seen other stores. A lot of stores are just taxed. And Four times more. I don't, yeah, I don't get times. it. I don't know how they're getting sales. When we price to sell, too, like, we try to, like, Let's move them. Exactly. We don't love holding on to the inventory forever, you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. What size is it? Let's see. Size 11. Cheaper. I'll take this. I don't want to negotiate. It's a fair price, $100. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you can do the, the same 100 average? or Yeah, of course. <laughs> um, yeah, I got you. So we're taking those. Have you guys been selling A6 here? When we get them, like we get the Jones a couple times and they sell pretty they well. They sell really well. I'll, yeah. I highly recommend in taking I was opposed to it at first, but oh, they yeah. sell so well for us. Right. Especially at love Vegas and our farmer's market spot. Yeah, they're a good shoe. The New Balances tend to sit a little longer. They do. I think I'm good. I just got well, that's another row right there. Yeah, it's all. all Damn, 12. we didn't even get that much. What did we get? How many pairs? Uh, they should be behind the register. Right under the register. Sure. Uh, yeah, two, four, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen pairs so far only. Pandas. This is the test. Is it fair enough? 125. That's the best price I've ever seen for any <laughs> store painter. I went to a store in Vegas. I don't even really want to name the store, but the painters are 280. I swear. At that moment, I was like, bro, this store is going to shut down in six months. There's no way. Yikes. Oh, that's before. Yeah, I got two pairs left. This is our best seller right here. It's great for us. 
They, I, to, for us, they've sold better since they've gone up. <laughs> yeah, at least fly. It's like more people want to pay more than before. I could do like 750 here, but I feel like there's no money for you. Uh, I feel like there's no money. Yeah. And then we'll do another eight. Yeah. Something that makes sense. We should have made like 30 to 40%. I, yeah. I get it. Dude, one last spin to make sure I didn't forget nothing. But make sure to check them out. Honestly, the best prices I've gone to any shoe store. They definitely have one of the best prices I've seen. What's the address here? It's a good question. <laughs> now you're asking the hard hitting questions. <laughs> address. 7320 is the old round two location, a couple blocks from us on Melrose Avenue. Make sure to pull up to them. They got a couple of stores too. Um, so make sure to go show them some love. I've been just shying away from buying 13s. It just doesn't yeah. sell, bro. Out here, it doesn't. At our other stores, it does, I can't right? keep them on the shelf. See, that's the thing. Like yeah. smaller cities, I realized it when I had my first store in Richmond, Virginia. She was like, that would sell like retro Jays are bread and butter. But like uh, cities like the malls and like the cities like here, like LA, it just doesn't sell. Mm -hmm. They want easy slides, Travis's, ones, fours, elevens. Yeah. Not clothes, but yeah, like you go to like smaller cities, 13, 12, oh, seven. 9, 7. One of our best ones are the playoff eight spinning ones. Oh, yeah, just so uh, they, we can't keep them on the shelf. What are you selling? Three? Uh, brand new, I think I have a pair at 280. And then pre owned, I sell them depending on condition, 140 to 180. Yeah, it's a, it's a good um, good margin on those. Yeah, we love them. Do you guys yeah. buy those? Uh, for, for, what, do, what do you guys use to pay for them? Like, a brand new pair? Yeah, like a, like a 13 and stuff. Do you guys need them? I have a bunch. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm sure we can make deals for sure. Yeah, those don't sell well for they're just sitting back there collecting dust. So we'll put it on our shelves and no, uh, out in Lancaster they will. <laughs> yes. Should we just do that? What what is this subtotal? What's your schedule like? I'm about to go to the store right now. I can show you some shit and then we can swap it and you'll make your money for it. Yeah. First time ever a trade. Yeah, I have like an hour. Alright, let's go to the pool yeah, show quick. I got a bunch of shit. First time ever, a store is trading another store for inventory without spending a dollar. Cause I got a bunch of shit that they probably want. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what the total is and that way we'll add up our total over there. And then if you guys can make money, then I can come back and use that store pit here. There it is. First time ever you guys are witnessing this and then Asante can actually charge his battery. Um, I'll put this in my car. So we owe them $4,900 with the shoes. If they don't find nothing there, I'll just cash you guys out. Cool. We're on cold kicks now. We got $4,900 worth of shoes right here. All right, maybe we start from right here. They already got some shoes for you. Start digging in. You tell me oh, what yeah. like the store credit you can give me on these Jordan 1 lows and all this. Oh, yeah. Maybe there's Sweet. some trade value right here. The goal is to try to get enough value where we can go use that remaining balance and maybe go buy some other stuff. Or it might just be an even swap or we might have to add cash. So this is the stuff we got from them. This is just some stuff right here and then on top of that, if we come back, this is just some stuff we bought yesterday. This store buys anywhere from like 300 to 600 shoes a day. Sometimes we have more if it's a big collection, but we got endless shoes, literally ground out. We're fully stocked right now, like at an all time high. This is the most inventory we've ever had. All stores are jam packed, but you know why we have it jam packed? This summer is gonna be insane. We have three massive stores that are gonna go crazy this uh, summer. All these shoes right here. So maybe maybe there's some wiggle room here with these shoes. I think these are all like the stuff they bought. They're all like Jordan 1 Lowe's. Maybe they, they, they might have some appetite for it. Should we take some over here for them? Like Billy Eilish ones, essential. Let's, let's just take it to them. They might even want them to want this shit. So instead of me spending money, let's see if they can take some of the stuff that... Uh, is there any like a, a stuff we want to get rid of? Uh, They're paying decent. They just moved it to like the, uh, the bathroom area. Look at this vault right now. Let's see if there's anything that they might have appetite for. What do you think about... Yeah, I could do some of these for sure. I'd pay 70. All right, I'll do that. So just add that add to the 70. pile. The Nike Dunk Highs. These I'd probably pay like a buck on. Buck? Yeah. All right, let's do that. 500. Trying to, well, we're negotiating now. Um, stuff that, all price. A buck. Take it, take it. If you guys are gonna pay around that prices, I, I'll, I'll do that any day and I'll swap it out with some stuff that moves for us. Yeah, we both went. We both went off of this. Gundams, I'm guessing. No pawn shop ones. That's a good one. I don't get them in like that. Would you do 80? I'll do a, a hundred. I'll try, it out. I'll try it out. All right, so we got those uh, all-white blazers. Are you adding these up to a tally or? Yeah, it's all, it's all in my notes on my phone. 
Oh. All five lasers. I... One ten. Short credit. I'll do a hundred credit. That's probably That's fine. Max. I'm swapping for a easy yeah, slide I got from you. Go. Listen, that way everybody wins. Um, going through the back oh. here, we got a lot of shoes in the back, so we've been kind of going through them, separating them a little bit. He's picking out some shoes that he wants. Some Ama 12, still decent shoes that he's getting to. So I'll just show y'all real quick. Our Ama 12s. I can't believe how low this is online, by the way. This breaks my heart. But it's actually a good shoe. Uh, Jordan 12. He's taking stuff like this. He's got a whole pile out there of just shoes that he's got too. So we're making some deals happen. I gave him these and another pair. So two pair of Amas for 200. So, you know, good for him, good for us. Trying to use this money and put it towards some other stuff. So, works out for everybody. So, Shiki. Priyan? Yes. Do you like 70? 80. Right. So, like I said, I'm worried about the cost. I know estimate of what we paid i'm okay with losing a little bit on some of these but i don't want us to lose too bad on some of these like tuxedo what are you thinking i do like 120 on tuxedo 150 that's what i was gonna sell them for uh, <laughs> coin flip 120 140 100 140 i was flip. gonna say 100 140 coin flip fuck it all right fuck let's it. Do it let's do it i don't have a coin you want to do siri got coin. anybody got a coin we can do Siri can do it if you want. My keys up no, there. yeah, Siri can Siri do it. Can do it. All right, you gotta call it first. Tails. Tails. Hey Siri, flip a coin. It's tails. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. I, I, I probably lost the most tuxedo coin flips in the history of this damn thing. Um, tuxedos for a hundred. Cool, we got it. Steal, bro. Uh, let's see what the total came out to. So look at all these shoes. These are the shoes that we all agreed on here. And then he has some more out there also that we agreed on. So um, let's see what the final total is. All right, cool. So that's it. That's the total, 4,900. We did it. Thank you. Appreciate, Appreciate you, bro. you guys. Thank yeah, you. Definitely, definitely. Con continue success. More blessings to them and their store that they have down the block. Uh, it's great. We usually send them there. I know you guys watch our videos all the time. <laughs> so if we don't buy it, we always send them over there to Sneakerhead. So uh, keep killing it, bro. Vice versa, so, too, thank man. Thank you so much, bro. I appreciate it. So we're going to help you out with this. We'll put it to the front. You guys are good to go. Let's do cool. it, man. Thank, thank you, bro. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course, man.